Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is another Boxing on the Budget review, and today we got something a little bit different. The way we're going to go about this is kind of different than our previous products. And that's because this is a long time use review, not a first look review, if you know what I mean. And the product in question is none other from the site Wish.com. And if you're unfamiliar with Wish.com, which most people are pretty familiar with it, it's a Chinese site that sells super cheap stuff. I would say nine times out of 10, the stuff is not that great. But every great once in a while, you do come across a gym. And today we're gonna to be talking about if this is a gym or if this is just trash. Today we have some boxing gloves. I want to say, it's been a while, I want to say I paid a total of $25, if not $30. I want to say it's $25. If it's more than $25, that is because of shipping. But I want to say it's $25 total. I could be wrong about that. I've had these things for probably about three years now. Something like that, give or take. And they, obviously, they look cool. The reason I went ahead and got these was... More of an experiment is before I start doing reviews and before I was even before I even had this boxing channel, I just did it as an experiment because hey, they're only twenty five bucks. What's there to lose? If they're good, cool. If they're bad, they at least look good on camera because we were doing like some filming stuff. They at least look cool on camera, hopefully. And so I got them, and immediately I loved them. When I first put them on, and I was actually surprised by how well they were. But now we're talking about present time, long term use. How well do they hold up? Uh, I don't know if the camera can pick up everything on these gloves, but they do look, they're used, obviously. They're definitely used. There's some markings on them and whatnot, but relatively, you would not think that these are three year old gloves. There's some I, I guess staining because how bright orange these are hitting anything that isn't orange is going to leave some paint transfer like some darkening from hitting the bags and stuff on these from hitting the bag it's going to leave some discoloration as far as the leather it's not real leather obviously i don't think anybody's gonna be fooled by that but it's held up pretty good there is now this just started recently um, there is a small bit of cracking right there. After three years, it's just now starting to crack a little bit. And also recently, a little bit before the cracking, um, and a lot of uh, injected mold gloves had this problem. A lot sooner than this, by the way. But uh, you see these bumps? I don't know the camera. If you can see those bumps, that's from the foam... Uh, getting beaten and it's getting, you know, popping out of place. Not popping out of place, but, you know, ripping and tearing right there in the foam. But overall, these are actually still very usable. Um, they are strictly a bag of mitt glove. You would not want to spar with these. I have sparred with them, but very controlled sparring. Um, nothing like uh, going hard or anything. You don't want to do that because, for one, these are 14 ounces, which I do like how it's labeled right here. 14 ounces and the foam is very firm uh your sparring partner will not like the feeling of these it's a very firm but hitting the bag feels great i love a firmer glove like i like that a little bit of softness but majority of it firm when i'm hitting the bag so i get that feel the impact feel it feels really nice and these gloves are actually very um protective to go along with that uh, the wrist support. First off, check this out. A lot of gloves, I won't say most, but a lot of gloves can't hold their own weight. Like they, they're they usually very heavy in the knuckle area because they put a lot of padding into the knuckle and not much in wrist support. These gloves look, uh, they hold their shape, even holding it out right here. A lot of gloves will flop down and that's let you know that there's no wrist support. This glove has a pretty good amount of wrist support. This is after three years and it still hasn't broken down. Still hasn't gotten weak. It holds up very well. Velcro is pretty strong, but you can see for the wrist support, we have this padding that goes all the way up on this side and right here on this side. The thumb feels great. It has some ventilated holds. I wish there was more, especially on the thumb. I wish there's more holds here. Some of the thumb, but 
some are better than none so at least has some right there also the fabric it has on the inside isn't polyester is actual fabric fabric uh it feels nice on the hands the only downside with having this type of fabric is it soaks up moisture and if you're sweating it's just getting trapped inside this so that you know it's a trade-off it feels really good but then it's gonna soak up all that moisture uh, we have the grip bar here. The grip bar is very soft. I wish it was a little harder than that, but it's actually a good size at least. I like how big the grip bar is. I just wish it's a little bit harder. So putting it on, the sizing on the inside fits me perfect, especially with uh, wraps on. Like I don't have to use wraps, and I feel like it's just a little tiny bit of room. But once I have wraps on, it's perfect how I want it. This, honestly. It's crazy to think about this came from Wish. But this is honestly my standard for budget gloves. Like, this is the gold standard. And honestly, these are my favorite gloves that I own. It's crazy to think about that. My favorite gloves. And I have some expensive gloves. I have some um, bigger name gloves. But the Wish gloves are my favorite. It's crazy. Crazy. Um, but they are. The design looks cool. They hold up very well. Uh, there's minor issues. You consider the price. You consider where they came from. And you consider how long they've been in use. These are fantastic, dude. And my mind's blown. I think somehow, some way, because I know third parties can sell through Wish. Somehow, some way, I ha I got a legit seller who sells actual boxing gloves. The um, brand name, I tried to look it up. It looks like their website is down, so I don't know if they're just done. But Crace, uh, I would love to uh, look more into these, see if the company's still around, see if it's a legit company. Because if so, I would love to work with this company, if it's a real company, if it's still around. Because, like I said, this is the gold standard for boxing gloves. And this is what I use to judge all my other gloves that I get, you know, within that price range. If it could compete with this or at least hold up with this then it's a good glove because this you know just blows my mind out of all the things it shouldn't be it actually is really good and so yeah i don't recommend putting all your faith into buying boxing gloves from wish i kind of like to try out another glove and see if you know maybe that's the one thing from wish that you can guarantee on i know it's not but Maybe that uh, maybe we can run that experiment. We get a different brand and see how well the gloves are. But this time, this is that gym. That one out of ten gym in the rough. And I'm so glad I got these. I'm so glad I was curious enough to actually purchase these. And uh I'm gonna continue to use them until they completely break down and maybe I retire them and put them in the trophy case. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching and until next time. I'm out.